Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this puzzle which says that we should find the area of the entire square. This means that this big quadrilateral is a square and you can only find the area of a square if at least one side is given to you. But we are only given a width of this rectangle. But look at the hint. It says all the rectangles have the same area. So we have five rectangles here of equal areas. So before we start, I would like to give out a special shout out to Hafsat Abdullahi for being the first member of Tambol Mass class. Only members can access my exclusive content as well as shout out in my videos. So if you are a new YouTuber, this is an opportunity for you. So now let's get started. Since we are given the width of this rectangle. We know if its length is given, we can just multiply the length and the width to get the area of that rectangle. So since it is unknown, let us consider it as A from this point to this point. So if this is the length A, multiplied by 4 will give us the area. 4 times A is 4A. But from here, we learned that all of them have the same area. So if this is 4a, this must be 4a, this must be 4a, 4a, and 4a. Again, it is one of the properties of rectangle that opposite lengths are equal. So if from this end to this end is a, likewise this and this must be a. Remember I told you, if at least one side is given to you, you can just square it to get the area of a square. So let us find the length of this end. Whatever we obtain, we can add it to 4 to, to get the total length here. Then let us square it to get the area. So let's call it B since it is unknown. Now we can consider this quadrilateral. Like, look at it here. Because the length and the breadth are present. You can see we have A and B. If multiplied together, we are going to obtain the area of these three rectangles. So B times A, which is the same thing as BA, will be equal to 4A plus 4A plus 4A. Because look at the areas here. The total areas are 3, 4As. BA will be equal to 12A. A is common, so we can divide both sides by A. Finally, you can see that B is equal to 12. So therefore, the length of this square will be uh, B plus 4, because one of the length is given as 4 and the other one as B. If you join them together, you get the total length. But B is of 10 to be 12 plus 4. And this is equal to 16. Now to find the area of this square, all we have to do is to what? Square 16. And the area finally will be equal to 16 squared which is equal to 256 unit square. Therefore, the area of this square is 256 unit squared because the unit is not given to us. So we can just write unit squared as the unit of an area. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.